Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I wanted to go through all of the information that I've been collecting and finding about the Walmart Spark bots. I wanted to make this video so that way I could give you guys a conclusive answer about what bots are out there and if they actually truly exist. So a couple of disclaimers first, I've spent probably over 100 hours over many days over the past like month or two looking into bots. After all of this, I only found one bot that seems like it is legit. Let me move out of the way and throw up a video of exactly what this is, so that way you can see exactly what this bot does. So here's me putting in my email address and password for Spark, and look at this. Oops, something broke. So let me go back, let me try this again. Maybe my password's wrong, so I checked it off of my app. Like logging into the Walmart Spark app, I tried, I logged out and I logged myself back in with that password and it worked in my Walmart Spark app. So I just tried to put that in again and it broke again. This bot is called Spark Ninjas. It says that you're supposed to be able to get offers easily without the hassle. Just sit back, they'll do the rest and sign up now to start getting offers that you want. I tried this over and over and over. I even went and changed my password. After changing my password in the Walmart Spark app, that did absolutely nothing. So I actually uh, just went and changed out my email address password, my Walmart Spark password, all of that, just to protect myself in case this is just a ploy to like steal people's account information and then steal their account from them. So that's what I think that it is. I think that they're just trying to collect people's information that way they can sell people's accounts this would be an easy way to make people think that they're getting something but in return you're actually just getting your account stolen so next up i just wanted to go through all of the i've been through like hundreds of reddit posts trying to find anything about anybody saying what bots they're using any batch grabbers anything like that there's literally not Nobody ever said the name of any bot or anything like that. Nobody has any conclusive evidence that people do use bots. Nobody's come forward to say that they are using a bot, even anonymously. Strangely enough, in Reddit, there isn't even the people that are selling the bots, like advertising that the bots exist throughout Reddit. So that was really strange to see. After all of this, I found out about this website, Social Grep. I actually just found about, out about this yesterday. This actually pulls information from all of these different sources you can see over on the side, uh, such as like Reddit, I don't know what v.red.it is, what those are, but then Reddit, youtube.com, imgur, or imgur, I'm not sure. So this just kind of goes through the internet and it searches for these keywords and it pulls up all of this information about where these keywords were used. So if we look at this in regards to gig work, the things that you'll see here are pretty standard for like what I see in my YouTube comments. You see the exact same thing word for word. Like, hey, if you're looking for well-paying batches, you can reach out to Ivan Tex on Instagram. He runs a program software that grabs high-paying orders quickly as they pops up. And they always have spelling errors. I did mine, and I've been earning massively since then. And then you see this is repeated twice more. These are at different times. This one is on the 25th of June. This one's on the, the 15th of June. So they're the same thing, like the same message is being sent multiple times over multiple different days. And uh, that makes it seem to me like that's not a person doing it, that they're uh, having some sort of like a, a bot uh, just post comments all over the internet. Um, because I've had these in my YouTube comments forever and every single time, like every couple of days, the name, like Ivan text changes to something else like Geotex or Lord Tex or Lark Tech. Let me actually pull up my blocked list on my YouTube channel. If I go down here to settings and then I go over to community, I believe there are hidden users. You can see all of these. And then there's 99 more. I think at one time I counted them up and I I thought that I had over 300 at one time. See, these are all of the different tech names that keep popping up. These keep changing every couple of days or weeks. It's just the same like spam posts that they post everywhere. I see them all over gig workers, like other YouTube gig workers videos. 
Hmm. I swear that there's more. I'm going to have to pull up a screenshot of a different video that I did talking about this before because I'm pretty sure that there was hundreds of them, like closer to 300, not just uh, like 170. So I'll throw that up here if I can find it. The next thing that I just want to get into is exactly how a bot would work for Walmart Spark. Because Walmart Spark runs off of the round robin system, those orders are not gonna be able to have bots. There's no way for them to get like batches and reassign them because that has nothing to do with the store. That has to do with Walmart Spark servers. And I would bet money that they would secure their code that they use for the app. They're not just gonna like leave it open for people to be able to look at and be able to analyze really easily. They're a multi-billion dollar corporation after all, so it, it wouldn't make sense that people would be able to send information into Walmart Spark servers and then gather information back without there being some red flags raised. And I imagine that they would be able to figure that out really easily because you can tell those types of things. I don't know that much about like coding like that, but that just seems a little bit far-fetched for me. So. The orders that this would work for, if they were somehow to get a bot that would be able to grab orders from the order screen, would just be those shit first come first serve orders that have already been sitting around for a while that nobody wants to take. So if they are using bots to grab those orders, then they can have the shit orders and they can do them and run their car into the ground and make almost no money. So I imagine that all of these people that are like saying contact whoever on Instagram or Telegram, things like that, these are probably scammers that more than likely are sitting somewhere over like near India. And once you send them money, they're going to ask for your account information. Once you send them your account information and the money, they're going to take the money and run with it. And then they're going to steal your account. They're going to change your passwords. They're going to lock you out. And then they're probably going to resell your account to another person because that's how you can make more money. The bad part about that is that if you do get your account stolen that you still have to pay taxes on all of that income because it is linked to your social security number so they're gonna be able to steal your account they're gonna be able to change your banking information they're gonna have it deposited to probably their own bank account or they're just gonna sell off the account to somebody else and then that person's gonna change all of the information and they're just gonna use your account and leave you stuck to pay the taxes I've seen that these bots that they always say on Instagram are hundreds of dollars and some of them say that like you can get instantly activated and some of them say it'll be a few days for your account to be activated or the bot to be activated on your account. The kind of funny thing is, is I've never seen a comment that doesn't look like it was written by like a 12 year old talking about these bots. So I imagine that these are all just people trying to like run scams because there's tons of scams running around in the world right now. Like I, I even got scammed from a cryptocurrency thing. I was told to like put money in and then we can bet with the money. And I was being like shown screenshots of winning the money back. So I decided to do it. I put money in. Uh, we made some uh, like short term, like it was like a minute long, you bet if the market's going to go up or you bet if the market's going to go down. And then based off of that, you get like somewhere like 10 to 20% back. So I did this a couple times, made a couple hundred dollars off of it. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. So let me put in even more money, which is a thousand dollars into it and then started doing it more. And then the person just kept on saying, like, you have to put in more money, like put in $5,000, put in $10,000, um, because the more money that you have, the more that you can make each time. And I was always like, I don't have that much money to do that, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. And the person got really mad at me. And then I tried to take the money out of that account. The support is really mean to me. They're really rude. They told me to get my money out. I had to put in another $300. And then afterwards, when I asked them again, they told me if I want to take my money out, I have to spend $2,500 for a membership for the year, and then I'll be able to move my money out of there. So yeah, I lost like $1,000 because of that. Just a scam that I didn't even like realize was a scam. I just thought it was like somebody being nice and like trying to help out people or something i have no idea why i really went along with it for so long but like these things like people can easily manipulate you and make you think that something's real when it's not and they can take advantage of you because they know that you need the money or they know that you're in like a tight position or something like that so they take advantage of that and they're able to make you do things that you wouldn't otherwise do because of they know how to like play and how to scam people so next up, I actually tried to look for bots on an Android phone. This is the phone that I used to use, just an uh, Android, I think it's like an A51 5G, something like that, I don't know, some, it's just some Samsung 
Android phone. So I tried to look for bots that would run on Android because Android doesn't have security for apps like Apple has. So I figured that if any bots were to exist that actually run on your phone, I would be able to find those. I searched all through the Google Play Store. I looked through everything I could find on Google, didn't find anything. All I could find were videos like this one, where somebody shows like orders that have a lot of money, like high paying orders. And they're saying that they got this from a batch grabber or a bot grabber, they called it, which I could literally do the same thing. I could just be like, oh my God, hey, look, a $70 order. Oh my God, I grabbed it. Yeah, I got that from a bot. Like, do you see how stupid this is? And it's like meant to like pry on people that, oh, if you do this, you're gonna get high paying orders. Here's another one just for show, like this, is stuff that is all over TikTok too. Well, not really all over. I only found like a handful of videos like this, but they are nonetheless there and they are trying to get attention and they're trying to have people go and talk to them on WhatsApp. And they're trying to get people off of TikTok. They're trying to get them over to WhatsApp to message them. And then I imagine that they're gonna scam them and steal their money and possibly steal their account too. So, if you're still here, great. I'm gonna give you some really good information about how to actually get orders. This will increase the amount of orders that you are able to get. I'm not sure about the quality of the orders, but this is gonna definitely increase the number of round robin orders that you get. So when I was looking through Reddit, I came across a couple of things that kind of stood out. People were saying stuff about bots, saying that they've been accused of using bots, things like that. And I just came across a couple of really good tips and tricks that a couple of commenters have to be able to get more orders every single day. So a couple of funny comments were this one by Living Rap 986 Oh lordy, 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 I don't know. I was blamed for running a bot too until I showed them my acceptance rate. They walked off defeated, bitching the whole time. And then they also say that acceptance rate has everything to do with it, meaning like orders, uh, how many orders you're gonna get in small markets. One person said to accept the order, turn off Spark now, deliver your order, and then once you deliver your order, turn on Spark now again, and then you'll receive another offer pretty quickly, and then repeat. He says that he thinks that it's just a theory, but before he started doing that, he was having a hard time getting orders, and that this might trick the system into seeing that you just logged on and it gives you an order, um, just to like incentivize you to take the take orders. This is the one that stands out to me that I've actually used in the past and it definitely works. It has to do with proximity to the store. If you go to your zone, I'll put up a video recording here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But if you go to your zone, whatever store you're trying to get an order at, if you keep zooming in on the map and you zoom in as far as you can so you just see that little dot and then find where that dot is at the Walmart Spark store and go sit as close to that dot as possible, you're gonna have a higher chance of getting an order because you're sitting closer to the store so the, the app prioritizes you because it's based off of proximity. This is why you'll often see people, like if that's the door, they'll be standing over there with their phone like by the door or just like chilling out there waiting because they're sitting there and they're waiting for the order drop and they wanna be as close to that point as possible. The point is usually where the the workers come out of to go out and like deliver the groceries. So it's usually like that staff associate door that they bring orders out of, but it does vary by different uh, store and location. So check it out for yourself and try to get as close to that as possible. And you should see some results if you are having a hard time getting orders. This person said that they were getting pissed at getting a bunch of hand-me-downs and crap orders while seeing a group of four to eight other people constantly getting orders. And then this commenter one day sat in the proximity, sat like really close to that area towards that point and got 14 orders for the day. And then in the middle of the day, they went to the pharmacy side where they usually chill out, which is farther away from that dot, which means that they had a lower proximity. And then in the middle of the day, they went to the pharmacy side where they usually chill out and got no offers. And then the next hour went back and got another offer. So take with that what you will. The only thing is, is that if somebody has a higher acceptance rate than you, then proximity, like first off is proximity, second off is acceptance rate, and then third off is other metrics. It seems to me that that's the way that it actually works out because I've talked with other people that we all have similar acceptance rates. We're all sitting pretty close to each other, like 
right across from the pickup area or like sometimes I even go and just sit in the pickup area and just wait for an order. Back when airplane mode worked, I would do that just because it's the easiest way. Like you go and deliver the order and you just come back and like by the time you park and you're just sitting there for five minutes, then there's going to be another offer that comes out. So that used to work out really well. So yeah, do with that what you will. The last thing that I want to touch on here before ending this video is all of the drivers that use multiple phones, use other people's accounts, things like that, that's the bigger problem here. That's the thing that people need to keep an eye on and see if drivers are doing this because if there are drivers that are using like two or three phones, you see them picking up multiple orders, um, maybe like giving the order to somebody else to have somebody else go deliver the order while they go back and get a new order. That's the things that are hurting gig workers, hurting Walmart Spark drivers. So that's the thing that I think that we all need to be more mindful of and see like who's doing things like that. And then, you know, you can always have them deactivated. Like I used to call in about Instacart shoppers doing shit like that. Like, I don't care. If you're not the person that had to go through a background check, had to get vetted to be able to do this, and you have access to knowing people's purchase habits, like what they're buying, you can easily tell what kind of household it is. You can also know like when people are not home, like say that you're delivering to a household that has kids and like the mom is just there, uh, like stay at home mom or something, or like a stay home at dad and the other person is at work, then you're gonna know like when that partner is away, which has a lot of like security issues for me. I don't think that that's right to have somebody that's not been vetted delivering groceries to people, especially elderly people, disabled people. I had a lot of disabled people for Spark and Instacart back when I was living in Syracuse, I used to deliver t to a lot of people like that. So it's just like a huge security concern for me. and. The customers don't know that and that like anything's different unless it says like Christian and a girl comes and delivers the order. Then they're probably going to be like, what the hell is going on? And then they're probably going to call Walmart. And in that case, the person's probably going to get deactivated. That account's probably going to get deactivated. This is why I think that you should have to show your ID when you go to pick up orders because you have to match the name. You should have to prove that you are who you are. Like I go to pick up an order, like my ID better say my name on it and the ID better match the name of the driver that should be picking up that order. I hope that this has given you a lot of food for thought, maybe helped ease some of your concerns around bots that exist or don't exist because they don't exist from everything that I can tell. While I uh, do the outro to this, let me just throw up all of the different things that I've looked at over this time. That way you know that I'm not just like making this up and I haven't done any research or anything. Like I've looked so far into everything, Google, Reddit, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and couldn't find literally a grain or a speck of like anything that looks like it's real. So yeah, I hope that this gave you something to think about. Hope that makes you feel a little bit better. I hope that's given you a way to like test out, see if you can get more orders. If you are closer to that dot on the map, just make sure you zoom in and you try to get as close to that dot on the map as possible and you should start to see more orders every hour. Thanks for watching this pretty long video. I hope that it was informative. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, drop down in the comment uh, emoji of a squirrel. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. Leave any comments if you have them. If you have any proof about bots, like actual proof, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about that. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.